On the second day of Christmas, I decided to do a self-challenge and turn $10 into a thousand. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Lisa's Find the Redo. I'm a 58 year old retired school teacher who needed to find a redo. And I found that redo by reselling used clothing, shoes, and hard goods. So, the other day I was watching Rebecca Allison and I will link her YouTube uh, down below. She's a very optimistic young lady who um, is always real positive and everything. And she told about a uh, challenge she's doing with herself to see how long it's gonna take her to turn $1 into $100. I believe that's what the challenge was for her. She's thinking about taking it on to 1,000, but one to 100. Um, and she had bought a cowboy hat at a uh, at the bins. Well, I thought, you know, I can do that. I'm gonna give myself 10 minutes in a thrift store. Really, I only had 10 minutes, so it was like, that's all I had. And I was gonna spend $10 inside the thrift store, okay? By doing that, I'm going to try to track, I will track, I promise. I'm going to track turning $10 into a thousand dollars and how long it takes me and i'm gonna take you along for the ride okay so let's look at what i got the first item i got was a magellan uh, shirt just a basic fishing shirt and you know it might not since it's not really fishing here it's really hunting season right now but um, I'm going to list this, and I'm listing my items to sell quick. So I'm going to list this shirt for $15 plus shipping, okay? The next item I got was a Ralph Lauren blue stripe. Y'all know I love my Ralph Lauren. This is your classic fit, and um, I'm going to list it also for $15. And like I said, I spent $10 total on all of this, Okay. The next item is an L.L. Bean flannel shirt uh, in an extra, extra large. I'm going to price this for $20. Okay. And before we move on to some of the hard goods that I got, I want to show you my sweater. This is day two. So this is a different sweater. And I bought this sweater that day for $2. Isn't it cute? Um, if I didn't already have so many sweaters and whatever t-shirts, sweatshirts, all that, then I would keep it. But isn't it cute? But it's part of this challenge, so i got to get it listed like pronto. So I'm probably going to list this one for $15 plus shipping. Like I said, I'm not listing these for a lot because the whole idea is to get money back in my pocket so that I can buy more stuff and then using that stuff, buy more stuff and eventually get up to $1,000. So... Let me pull up my hard goods. Okay. The first item that I got, the hard good item, was this pair of Victorian button covers. I have, there's there are six of them, which is a great number. I paid $1.50, as you can see. Um, and I just thought they were so pretty. And I've seen them there, and I've seen them there. And I'm terrible about listing hard goods, even though I love to buy them. But I thought, I'm going to get these. I'm gonna get them. So, I did. I'm probably gonna list, uh, I don't know, maybe 15. They're definitely vintage, look at the back. If you think I should list them for more, let me know. I don't know, I'm trying to turn them around. I think they're pretty. Now this may not have been the greatest purchases in the world, but two little small lacquered plaques, I can't find anything on them. I'm gonna list them for $10. They were each 25 cents. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And there's my beautiful clock. I don't do a good job of playing in my videos, do I? So the next item, this was free. This was in a free box, I guess, um, like the company had donated a lot. And right now there's like, when I was looking at soul comps, it didn't have any, um, any, like what they paid for it at all. It had, they accepted best offer, but they were listed them for like 30 to $40. I'm gonna list mine for 20 and get it out the door. It's free. 
The next item was this Steven Seagal Lawman, and these were going between $6 and $10 with free shipping. Um, so, it's not a lot of money, but it was free, you know, and uh, it's from season one. So, so, what do you think about my idea of doing the 10 into 1,000 um, video series? What do you think? I'll try to update it. And, you know, it probably won't be a lot. You know, I may update it like once uh, a month or, one, you know, if I sell a couple of them, then I'll go ahead and list, do a video on them. But, you know, it's just fun. So many people say, well, I don't have much money. And I want to show people that you can take that $10, $10 that you would have bought a Starbucks coffee with and maybe a Danish. That would have been more than $10. But... I want to show them that they could take that one day of splurge and make money to buy their Christmas. Wouldn't that be a great idea? Or to just to pay the rent or whatever. So I want to show people that you can do that. And I want to thank you for watching this video today. And I hope you'll continue to watch the series. I'm about to get those um, steamed and photographed so I can get them listed so I can get busy with this. I've got several different things going on right now. Um, I've got a thread up, um, send it in and see how much money I can make from it. So I've got that. So I'm doing, um, Becky Park has a challenge where we could spend $50 and we have to sell, uh, we have to report back on uh, November 30th how we did. I'll be going on a vacation on November 26th. So I will be filming mine on Thanksgiving day and you know, it'd be four days short, but that's okay. I have sold enough to at least be in the profit out of those. So you'll have to stay tuned and see how much profit I have. Um, so if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, or you like these ideas that I've been throwing out there, then hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when I put out my next video, then ring the bell. And I need you to do me one favor today. I need you to go out and find your redo.